let us discuss this result so in this result we have to prove that this inequality okay with some standard notations so let us start to discuss its proof so here we consider a bounded function f which is defined on this s so s is nothing but a b cross c d cross e f that means s is nothing but a cube word as you can see in this diagram okay so for this s we have to prove this one so what will i do we will take partition p1 of closed interval a b actually a b is interval which is a subset of r so we are taking its partition so because of that partition this h will have some partitions like this okay let me show it here we'll have some partition like this okay so that means this region will be divided in this way after that we will take partition p2 of closed interval cd as you can see here partition p2 is a closed interval cd that means along y axis we have some partition so that's why this h will be divided in some parts okay so we will have partitions like this after that p3 p3 is a partition of closed interval ef okay that means along z axis we have some partitions so it's a three dimensional figure i cannot show everything but because of these three partitions if you take all these partitions combinedly that means p is equal to p1 cross p2 cross p3 then this cuboid will be divided into m and p sub cuboids getting why i'm saying m and p since we have n partitions here we have m partitions here and we have p partitions here so combinedly if you consider all partitions simultaneously then we will have m and p sub cuboids getting region will be divided and we are considering delta i j k be the volume okay be the volume of each sub cuboid after that we will consider supremum and infimum so here f is a bounded function getting function is bounded so therefore f has supremum and infimum over each sub cuboid okay so i am considering m i j k which is nothing but supremum of f of x y z such that xi minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to xi yj minus 1 less than or equal to y less than or equal to yj and zk minus 1 less than or equal to z less than or equal to zk and this is true for all i running from 1 to n j running from 1 to m and k running from 1 to p okay that means over each sub cuboid we are finding the maximum value of function that is nothing but m i j k Similarly, we can define infimum also. We will call it as small m i j k. So, and I will mention small m i j k, which is equal to infimum. Okay, infimum, the remaining part will be same. So, here we take a supremum of function over each subcuboid, and here we take infimum function over each subcuboid, getting over each subcuboid. But see, if you consider an entire cuboid, there will be some maximum value of function getting and over the entire cube there will be some minimum value of function we will call them as capital m and small m let me mention that thing let capital m is equal to supremum of function f of x y z let me write here x y z where x y z belongs to s and small m is equal to infimum of function where small f f of x y z where x y z belongs to s okay so that means over an entire cuboid function will have some maximum value that is nothing but capital f and over entire cuboid function will have some minimum value that is nothing but small f after that i will go for upper sum lower sum you are familiar with that let me mention that thing now upper sum is now upper sum is is its definition is we call it as upf we have three summations okay one for i second for z and third for k uh, capital m i j k delta i j k i running from 1 to n j running from 1 to m and k running from 1 to p get it delta i j k means volume of each subcuboid so in double integration also we have already seen we take product of capital m i into area of that rectangle but see here we have a three dimensional figure so that's why we should take volume of that subcuboid that is delta i j k let us go further and lower sum is let me mention lower sum is we denote it by l p f is equal to again we have three summations here we will take small m i i j k delta i j k i running from 1 to n j running from 1 to m and k running from 1 to p 
सो इन केस ऑफ अपर सम वी यू वी टेक कैपिटल एम आई जे के एंड इन केस ऑफ लोअर सम वी टेक स्मॉल एम आई जे के आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू गो फर्दर सो द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज अपर इंटीग्रल एंड लोअर इंटीग्रल वी आर ऑलरेडी फैमिली विद दैट नाउ अपर इंटीग्रल लेट मी मैंशन सो अपर इंटीग्रल अपर इंटीग्रल सी इन प्रीवियस वीडियो यू ऑलरेडी सीन अपर इंटीग्रल इज यू एफ बी डिनोटेड बाय एंड इट इज इनफीम ऑफ यू पी एफ वेर पी इज पार्टीशन पी इज पार्टीशन ऑफ एस ओके एंड लोअर सम लोअर लोअर इंटीग्रल सॉरी एंड लोअर इंटीग्रल इज एल एफ इज इक्वल टू सुप्रीम ऑफ एल पी एफ लेट मी मेन्शन दिस इज एल पी एफ वेर पी इज पार्टीशन ऑफ एस गेट इट That means you know that for each partition, for different different partitions, we have different upper sums, we have different lower sums. So what we do, we take a minimum value of upper sum. What will be the least upper sum? That will be uh, uf. Okay. And in case of lower sum, we take a maximum value of lower sum. What will be the lower sum which will have the maximum value? That is nothing but lf. So in this way, we have upper integral and lower integral. Okay. There is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. See, we know that if function is Riemann integrable, or sorry, integrable on S, then what can we say? Function is integrable. Then we can say upper integral is equal to lower integral is equal to actual value of integration of f over S. So this is a very important thing we have got. Okay, so the function is integrable. Then all of them are equal, and it's nothing but the value of triple integration of f over S. And the second important thing we can clearly write, clearly. See, we can write one thing. Will you tell me what is definition of U F upper integral, which is equal to infimum of upper sum? That means U F is a minimum value of upper sum. So therefore, clearly we can write U F is less than or equal to U P F for any partition P. Getting so this is the second inequality we have got. Since upper integral is nothing but infimum, smallest upper sum. So that's why obviously it is less than or equal to any upper sum. And and L F means lower integral. In case of lower integral, its definition is supremum of lower sums. That means L F will be the supremum, maximum value of lower sum. Okay, so therefore it is obviously greater than or equal to L P F, and this is true for any partition. So this is the next inequality we have got. Okay, after that, after that we can clearly write one thing. Let me mention clearly, clearly, M. Less than or equal to m i j k. Less than or equal to capital m i j k. Less than or equal to capital M. This is true for all i running from one to n, j running from one to m, k running from one to p. Getting? See, actually we have already defined all these terms. M means maximum value of a function over or supremum value of a function over entire cuboid. C capital m j k m i j k means supremum value of a function over sub cuboid small m i j k means infimum value of a function over sub cuboid and small m means infimum value of function over entire cuboid get it so that means in other language we can say this is global maxima this is local maxima this is local minima and this is global minima so obviously they will have the same relation between them after that what will i do i will multiply All sides of this inequality by delta i j k, which is nothing but volume of that sub cuboid. Get it? So let us multiply all sides by delta i j k. Let us see what will happen. So m into delta i j k is then or equal to m i j k delta i j k is then or equal to capital m i j k delta i j k is then or equal to capital m delta i j k. Obviously, it is true for again i running from one to n, j running from one to m, and k running from one to p. After that, it is true for all. No, so I will take summation of all sides. Let us do that. So summation, I am taking a triple summation. Okay, m delta i j k less than or equal to triple summation m i j k delta i j k less than or equal to triple summation. Right, capital m i j k. Delta i j k less than or equal to cap triple summation capital M. Let me write it properly. Uh, capital M delta i j k. Okay, i running from one to n, j running from one to m, and k running from one to p. Obviously, the same limits have the for remaining summations also. So let us talk about this. 
what will happen here small m is independent on all these three summations since there is no any i j k so small m will come outside so therefore small m will come outside we will have triple summations delta i j k less than or equal to are you familiar with this one this is nothing but lpf lower sum right lpf okay so we know this term also that is nothing but upper sum upf since already we have defined all these things upf and in case of last term that capital m is independent on i j k so it will come outside so let me mention less than or equal to capital m triple summation delta i j k delta i j k see delta i j k means volume of that sub cuboid and we have taken triple summation that means we are adding volume of all sub cuboids so if you consider all sub cuboids combinedly then we will have a entire given cuboid getting so this is nothing but volume of given cuboid s getting given cuboid s so how to find a volume of cuboid this is a question it's very simple okay so volume of cuboid is nothing but length into width into height let us do the same let us find its uh, volume so its length is b minus a it's uh, if you remember the diagram which we have already drawn here b minus a its width is uh, d minus a and its height is f minus e okay so we got this one this is this is less than or equal to lpf right is less than or equal to upf is less than or equal to capital m again we have got the same term that means triple summation of delta ijk that means volume of complete cuboid s getting and its volume is nothing but b minus a d minus c f minus e that means what we do length into width into height getting so if you take a product we will have the volume of cuboid let us go further so i will call it as inequality number 4 so tell me can we combine 1 2 3 4 let us see what will happen from let me mention 1 2 3 and 4 let us combine hmm. so we will start with this one let me write here m b minus a d minus c f minus e. we will start with this one less than or equal to okay less than or equal to what we have this is less than or equal to lpf lpf is uh, where is lpf yes lpf is less than or equal to lf lf is equal to triple integration so i can write this is nothing but tri triple integration of f over s right less than or equal to triple integration of f over s is nothing but uf uf is less than or equal to upf and see upf is less than or equal to this term so that's why i can write this one so m b minus a d minus c into f minus e it is just like this one a less than b b less than c so we write a less than c so same type of thing i am doing i will repeat that thing see i wrote this term first right after that this one is less than this one lpf lpf is less than lf and lf is equal to triple integration so simply i wrote this one is less than triple integration i wrote the same after that i continue this thing so triple integration is equal to uf uf is less than or equal to upf and upf is less than or equal to this term so i can say triple integration is less than or equal to this term and i continued and wrote and finally we got the same thing so in this way we completed this proof thank you bye bye